So I want to show you some ways to play through the classic Delta Blues turnaround and some variations on that that I've accumulated from here and there. So um, the thing I'm talking about is that moment where you're coming back, let's say we'll do it in the key of A, you're coming from the 5 to the 4. And the thing we're concerned with today is just this. So how you do that and then some variations on that. So what that is, the basic Delta Blues, Robert Johnson style turnaround move, is you've got your pinky on the high string at the fifth fret and your ring finger starting out at the fifth fret of the fourth string. And I'm using the hybrid grip. I've got the pick playing the fourth string and my ring finger picking the high string. But you can do it barehanded with your fingers uh, or you could use a different finger if that's more comfortable. But somehow you've got to get these two notes to play without getting any of the stuff in between. So you're going to play the fifth string, uh, the fourth string and the first string at together and then repeat the high string and do that as you walk down. So keeping the fifth fret on top, you go to the fourth fret on the fourth string, the third fret on the fourth string, and the second fret on the fourth string. So and that's the basic move. Now, a couple other things you can do. You can take this note and you can harmonize it with this note, which is the fifth fret on the second string. And you can move them down together. And you can keep the high string going at the same time. So now you're going to grab the fourth string, and then I'm using the middle finger on the second string, ring finger on the high string. And then after I do that, I'm going to pick the high string by itself with the ring finger. So then the fourth and the second string are going to go down one fret while the pinky stays on the high string. Next we're going to the third fret and at this point it's easier to bar with the index finger across the top four strings. So you get third fret on the fourth string, third fret on the second string, still have the fifth fret on the high string. And finally you move down to here, which is a bit of a stretch, but it's the second fret, second fret, high string. It's an A chord. So. I just fingered it differently, so yeah, you could go to the bar here at the fourth fret too, or you could use these fingers. But so that's one variation. Now you could also climb up and keep the high string on top, which would also sound good. And. Finally, you could, well, almost finally, you could take this part that's going up and this part that's going down and put them together, which is kind of cool. And so you've got fifth fret and second fret on the fourth and second string, and then fourth fret and third fret, and then third fret and fourth fret, and then second fret and fifth fret. And while you're doing that, you could keep the high string on top. So you start off here. It's a bit of a stretch again. Ring finger, index finger, pinky. And you can play them the same way. you're doing is implying a series of different chords. This is an A7. This is basically a D chord. This is an F7 chord. This is back to A. Now a lot of um, country blues guitar players play this and I think I probably snagged this from Roy Bookbinder. is kind of a hybrid of a couple of different ones we've done. So you start off here at the everything at the fifth fret, then to the D shape, then to the uh, F7 shape, and then back to A. So all of those would drop into the same spot, which is where you're coming in the last four bars of a blues. If we're in A, we have a bar of E, a bar of D, 
and a downbeat on A, and then starting on beat two, three, four, downbeat of the last measure, and then over to E on the second beat of the last measure. So all of them would fall into that spot. So you can try any one of them in that spot. The basic original one, the descending one, the ascending version of that, uh, the one where you're combining the two lines, so, or the country blues one. And any one of them will work great. And so that way, if you get them all under your fingers, as you go around, you can actually pull out a slightly different turnaround every time, which is really cool. So check those out. I hope you have fun working on them. I'm David Hamburger. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.